I'm Quentin Madog from Ablevision. Nice to see you, and I'm Kevin James, and we're shooting the, uh, the movie Paul Blart Mall Cop. It's a pleasure to interview you today. Well, thanks. It's nice to be here. How did you get interested in acting? I started in uh, first in stand-up comedy uh, back on Long Island in New York, and then I, I, I kind of fell into acting uh, once I, I started doing uh, stand-up for a while. Everybody else was kind of acting, and, and I just kind of fell into it as, as well, and I, and I loved it. What do you do to prepare for a scene? Uh, it depends on what scene. Some scene, like a scene I had to do earlier, I had to cry. So I would think of things that made me sad and kind of put myself in that position where I, I remember and recall these uh, either sad memories or, or happy memories that would make me cry. And it kind of, it kind of worked. It kind of put me, you know, in, in, in that mood. So that, that worked. What's your favorite place you've ever been in the world? I have to say one of my favorite places is I, I got to go to Hawaii, and I love it there. It's really, really uh, beautiful, and I love to play golf, so I played golf there a lot in Hawaii, and that, and that was a lot of fun. So that, I would probably say, is my, uh, my, other than going back home to New York, is my number one place is Hawaii. Do you feel the same as I, me being on TV? I love it. Do you enjoy it? You do good. You, I love it. I'm glad you love it. You, you're really good at it. So it's, it's, uh, you get used to it, right? You get, you know, it's, it's a little nerve wracking at first being on TV and, and doing that in front of uh, all these people. But uh, you get used to it and then you get comfortable with it. And you're a pro. I can tell that. Do you travel with your family while you are on the road? Yes, I do. A lot of the time my family will... Uh, uh, come out with me and stay with me like my wife and my two girls I have two kids are staying with me now and uh, it, it makes the process of making a movie a lot easier because uh, I have them with me and I don't miss them as much but sometimes they're unable to come up with me so it, it's a little difficult it's a pleasure to meet you Kevin James oh thank I'm you I'm Christina Dogger pointing live at the burn tomorrow with Kevin James great job Christine no, no problem Great job. Hi, I'm Nikki Rusalula uh, from the Able Vision, and I'm speaking to Mr. Kevin James. Is this is your first time in Boston? I actually was in Boston uh, a few times to perform stand-up comedy, but uh, this is my first time filming a movie here, and uh, the people uh, of Boston are, are great, and it's a lot. It's a fun town with a lot of great places to eat and. And, and a lot of places to see and a lot of history here. So I, I, I'm loving Boston. Tell us a, a little about The Mall Cop. What gave you the idea to write this movie? I always wanted to do something where I, I had uh, some authority. And I thought it would be funny to play uh, someone who wasn't able to carry a gun. And I know that uh, the mall security guys uh, have some authority, but they're not allowed to carry a weapon with them. So I thought that would be fun to try to take, take down people without having actually a, a weapon, but using the, the, the mall as his weapon and using the Segway, the thing that he rides as his weapon, and, and using that and uh, outsmarting the, the bad guys. How do you check? I mean, how do you decide to shoot the movie at the, I mean, how do you have fun on a movie set? We have fun. So, you know, I, 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 I'm fortunate enough to be able to travel with a lot of my friends and my families out here. So we have fun all the time. We, we get to uh, just, we, we laugh a lot of the time. Because on a movie, there's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of time where you're not actually shooting the, the film. So you're just kind of hanging out. And uh, that, that's when my friends and I kind of kick back and laugh and have a good time. What are your future plans? Hopefully to do more movies if this movie does well enough and uh, to continue doing stand-up comedy and just kind of acting and, 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 and just, you know, continue to being able to create, uh, hopefully, funny scripts. Well. Thank you, Nikki. You're welcome. You're awesome. <laughs> All right. That was great. love it. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, action. I'm Katima Daka from Able Vision. I'm 
pointing live here with Kevin James. Great to see you, Christine. Great to see you, Kevin. Nice to see you. I love that. What's the difference between doing live stand-up and television? Live stand-up, uh, you're in, in front of, you know, actually both uh, were kind of similar in that you're, you're performing in front of a live audience. But uh, when I was doing the stand-up, it was just me alone. When I did the TV show, I had other actors with me. So it wasn't all, all the pressure wasn't on me. But when, you're, when you do stand-up, uh, you're just out there on stage by yourself. So it can be a little scary at times. At what point did you know you were famous? Um, I guess right now, when you wanted to interview me, Christine, was the time I realized that, you know what, maybe I'm doing something right, that you guys want to ask me questions. It makes me feel good. I'm happy about that. Uh, you know, you, you don't know. You don't know your level of fame until, you know, people, I guess the, when they, they start uh, talking about your work and, and how excited they are to see you and that, and that you remind them of uh, themselves and people in their own family. So that's, that's, I guess, when I realized. Do you have to be famous to make a movie? I don't think so. Not, not today. I mean, a lot of kids are out there and people are out there just with uh, their own cameras and setting up uh, uh, their own movie sets and basically shooting their own movies. You don't, you, know, you don't need to be famous. You can do stuff, especially now with the Internet, you can kind of just shoot a movie yourself, edit it, and put it on the internet yourself. Have you ever been behind the cameras? I've, you know, I, I've never really uh, worked behind the cameras. I've, uh, you know, watched the people who do my TV show, and, and I watch the people who do the movie here, make the movie, and I, I learn from them, but I've never really uh, been hired to do anything because I don't know, I don't know anything about the camera or or that, mu that, that much about it. But I'm learning stuff as I go along, and it's nice to see. How did it feel getting nominated for an Emmy? Oh, that was real, real exciting, and it came out of nowhere. I, I didn't think I'd get nominated at all. Uh, but uh, my mother called me at like 5.30 in the morning uh, to say that she heard it on TV, that I got nominated, and, and she was real, real excited. So I, I was happy, too. Pleasure, maybe you, Kevin James. Great to meet I'm you. I'm Christina Dog reporting live with Kevin James at the Burlington Mall. Yeah. How it does to feel being in Red Sox Nation? Oh boy, this is a tough place for me to be because I'm a New York Mets fan. But uh, I'm, I'm actually just a fan of baseball. So when you, when you see the Red Sox playing so well, uh, it, it, makes me, uh, it makes me just in awe to watch anybody play that well as, as a team. I, I wish my Mets would do a little better, and maybe we'll meet you in the, uh, the World Series. How long are you going to be shooting, you're going to be shooting in Boston? We're going to be here in Boston until the end of uh, May. So we should be towards the... Uh, Maybe like the 23rd or 24th, I think we, uh, we finish up the movie and then we, uh, I, I go back to L.A. How do you feel, feed off the crowd's energy during stand-up? I just love, you know, when they start laughing and, and you get in a crowd on a roll, it, 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 it inspires you to sometimes even uh, write more jokes on stage. You can have so much fun with an audience and interacting with an audience that some, sometimes it can help your set. You know, and, and make it even and funnier, hopefully. How is it different being an actor versus being a voice actor? I did a voiceover in one, one movie I did for, it was called The Barnyard, and I played a cow. And uh, the, one, the difference about uh, being an actor compared to being a voiceover actor uh, was that I didn't have to shower or anything. I could just walk in when I did voiceovers. It doesn't matter what you look like because they don't film you, which is nice. So you can kind of just roll out of bed and, and, and just say your lines into a microphone, which was, was really cool. Mm -hmm. But acting, you don't. Acting, you have to you know, be on camera and get ready and make up. What is your favorite food? I mean, what's your favorite Boston food? I don't think we have enough time for that one. Um, I would have to say I, I like the North End, and I like uh, I'm gonna go with uh, linguine and clam sauce. 
So I like linguine and pasta and pizza. You can't go wrong with food and me. So. Well, nice Thanks, to meet Nikki. you. Nice You're to welcome. See you. Good job. Hi. Hi. Hey, you know, yeah. awesome. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Good. Now one more. Say Able Vision. Able Vision. <laughs> All right.